So everybody says, walk 10,000 steps a day. Is it true that you'll get benefits only by walking 10,000 steps a day? So even if it's true, how is taking steps going to help? So does that mean that everyone should start taking 10,000 steps from tomorrow? I'm going to cover that all in this video. So when someone says that they hit 10,000 steps a day, it means that they're pretty super active. Especially if their job is not physically demanding, they're probably also exercising at a moderate pace in order to get the 10,000 steps, which means that they are being physically active and at the same time also exercising for 30 to 60 minutes a day. I've also seen patients who work as a custodian or who might be working as a nurse in an inpatient facility, they might be easily taking 10,000 steps a day just at work alone. And let's say if they exercise, they're probably getting around 12,000 to 13,000 steps a day. Living a physically active lifestyle is known to reduce the risk of early death but how much does it actually help? How many steps should you be taking to get the maximum benefits? What kind of risk reduction are we talking about when you compare a physically active versus a sedentary person? So if you're a person who's been hitting 10,000 steps a day, there is no reason to back off. The more, the better. But there are some people who really feel guilty that they're not able to take 10,000 steps a day, maybe because of the chronic illness such as like knee pain or foot pain and so forth. So what is the truth? So this was answered in a recent Lancet paper in 2022. The gist of the study is that if you want to lower your risk of dying before age 60, you should aim for taking 8,000 to 10,000 steps per day. But let's say you've passed the big 60, then 6,000 to 8,000 steps should do the trick. So one thing you have to understand about this type of studies is that they assume a person has a higher risk at lower steps, so let's say around 3,000. So anything less than 5,000 is considered as sedentary. So using that as comparison, taking more steps from the baseline of 3,000 is going to help cut back a risk of death and that around 7,000 to 9,000 steps, you get the maximum benefits. So let's say you take 12,000 steps. Yes, there are benefits, but the benefits becomes a little bit marginal after you start hitting 9,000 steps. There are other reasons that you might be taking extra steps and you should continue doing that. So what that means is that, so let us say you're taking an average of 3,000 steps per day this week. And the next week, you're trying to take almost 4,000 steps average per day, then you're significantly improving your health. So I always tell my patients, start slow and progress. So here's my practical advice. So assess your baseline. If you're taking 3,000 steps a day, then keep a goal of 1,000 steps increase every week. If you want to take it slow, then keep 500 steps every week. Slowly improve every week. Let's say you have arthritis or some sort of other illness that walking aggravates your pain, then you can use other equipments like biking, elliptical or swimming. For every one minute of biking, add 150 steps to your step count. This will motivate and still try to hit the goal steps. So in this particular study, people who are actually hitting almost like 7,000 to 9,000 steps per day, they had a 50% decreased risk of early death compared to being sedentary, which is huge. So in that 7,000 to 9,000 steps per day, try to hit at least 3,000 steps at a moderate exercise pace. Okay? I hope this video is helpful. If you have any questions, please post in the comments below. And I'll see you in my next video. Until then, goodbye.